Hi there, I'm Jo Loring Fisher and I'm the author and illustrator of Taking Time. Now today for Home Trust Home Time, I'm going to be showing you how I drew this little character here. I shall come in a bit closer, I'm hoping you can see that. So we're gonna do a little drawing of this girl here, taking time to watch with all a spider build her home. And we're gonna be doing this uh, spider's web and a spider and some leaves too. So I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start by doing the little girl. So we're going to do her head first. And she's got quite a round head. Okay, like that. And I'm going to do her eyebrows and her eyes. And she's a girl from Nepal, a country called Nepal, like that two little eyes and her little nose and a smile because she's watching the spider spin its web. Now she's got curly hair, I'm going to give her a little ear there like that, curly hair. My pens aren't brilliant now. What you could do if you wanted is draw this in pencil or you could do it in a felt tip like I am here. Or you could either even draw it and then maybe collage it, stick different colour paper or all sorts of things you could stick and put on here in, instead of just colouring it. Or you could just colour it in with felt tips or a um, or colouring pencils. So uh, there we are. That's her her hair and her eyes and her face. I'm gonna do some cheeks in a minute. But she's going to be watching. Doesn't look doesn't look that much like the character in the book, but anyway. It's also got on her top, on her dress, there's a little bird, like that. And I copied that, it's like a little folk art print. I copied it from, and I did a little bit of research into what animals and birds were in Nepal. And I found this little, I can't remember what the bird was called to be honest, but a little bird anyway that I put on her top little drawing like that. There we are. Now down here I'm going to do some big rhododendron leaves. Now rhododendrons, although we find them a lot in our gardens in this country and in various places out in the countryside, you actually find them also in the pool. So I did these rhododendrons and they've got these beautiful flowers. I did those for the spider to be spinning his web on. Let's bring her arm round like that. And there. Now, and slightly higher, the leaves here like this. My dress there. And I'm going to put right across here the spider's web. almost kind of a kind of a hexagonal or almost sort of diamondy type shape and just these like little spikes that go round and round and round like that and then the fun bit of all is the spider and they have eight legs so the spider's going there with his eight legs there we are another bit of flower there and here, actually this felt tip's not working that brilliantly well. I'm sure your, so your short yours will be working much better. There we are, I'm just gonna give her some red cheeks. Again, you could color this in with coloring pencils, something like that. I'm just gonna do dots because it's quite dark, this one. Let's color in the flowers here. Do another one there. Rhododendrons have lovely, brightly coloured flowers, really beautiful, all different colours, purples, all sorts. Let's do some green leaves. Do the top of her hands there, just behind that leaf.
Now another thing that I did in the picture were some butterflies, they're bright orange and I haven't got an orange one so I'm just going to do some in red. There we are. Very quickly drawn butterflies. And there we are, give her a little bit more hair. And that's a drawing of a little girl from the pool in my book, Taking Time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.